Hey, good morning, friends. It's Joe. Welcome to my animal spirituality video for Friday, September the 13th. So I guess it's one question that has to be asked. Do you believe in the Friday the 13th bad luck curse philosophy? <laughs> I remember one year it really hit me and everything that could go wrong went wrong that day. But I've put that beside and said, no, this is just ridiculous. But sometimes we really have to work our minds, don't we? It's a very important thing in life, especially in our spiritual life. And really, Friday the 13th could be a great day. And then Monday the 15th may not be as good a day. But we have to always remain open to what is possible. And as best as possible, make sure that we know that we control our own thoughts. That is probably the most important thing. So let's launch into our final time together on the prayer of St. Francis. I have enjoyed this time with you. I hope you have enjoyed it as well. And today we are going to conclude the prayer and we're going to talk about the final couple phrases in the prayer of St. Francis and how they could apply to our spiritual life. So when we look at where we are right now, we have to be understood as to understand, to love as to love, to be understood as to understand, and to be loved as to love. Now, I will say right off the bat, as I do at times, I'm putting my hand up and saying, these are things I really need to work on. I have made the comment that I feel I need to be more understood I, like a lot of people, feel I could be loved a little bit more. But I have a strong feeling that when those things happen, we need to look inward. Inward, not outward. We have the control inward. We have far less control outward. Do we understand ourself? Do we understand and love ourself for who we are? If we go to the outward part of this and look for it from outside of ourselves, we are making a lot of comparisons. That is damaging right off the bat. And it is true that happiness is found within, understanding ourselves is found within, and loving ourselves is found within first and foremost. Consider our animal friends. They're amazing at this, aren't they? They don't look outside at all. They really don't. They accept it, but they don't look for it. They make no comparisons to anyone else. I have fond memories of Daniel when he was in the Hero Dog competition and how I used to watch him walk around celebrities and walk around other dogs in the Hero Dog competition that were very famous. And it was never like, oh, wow, I'm in awe. He had a self-positive image and he kept it, and it looked very amazing to a lot of people, especially to me. And we need to harness the same thing, don't we? I think it's a very important part of this prayer, and one that maybe Sam Francis was looking at our animal friends when he wrote it, knowing how important it was to look at them and find in them the positive qualities that they do in understanding self and loving self. And then when we do, we can certainly branch out to others in a very effective way. Because that's the next line. The next line is in giving that we receive. And how true that is, but the giving of ourself can only happen and the receiving positive feelings when we are in a good place ourselves. And that takes a lot of work. I acknowledge it. I'm working on it now, but I at least encourage you to start working on it each day and understanding the positive impact of it. Find an animal, whether it's a species, whether it's a specific animal, find them to be your guide. They're not to be the one you are to look at and say, I want to be like that, because then you're walking backwards, right? You want to see they're my guide. I'm watching them. I'm observing them. I'm picking up very important teaching moments from them. Then we conclude the prayer with, in pardoning we are pardoned, and in dying that we are born to eternal life. Once again, and near the end, and at the end of the prayer, 
St. Francis has to put the pardoning part in here. He did it in the beginning. He's going to conclude with it because he knows how important forgiveness is, especially forgiveness of self. We always come back to inward and what we can do, forgiving ourselves first before we forgive others, understanding ourselves first, loving ourselves first. What a powerful prayer this is to read each day and say, this is where I can make some progress. You may be all familiar with the analogy of when you take off in a plane and how they tell you that if something were to, God forbid, happen, that you need to put on your oxygen mask first before you help others. How true that is. I would like to expand on that analogy because there are many times that you take flights in life. It's not just one. <laughs> there are many phases of life. There are many examples in life. And sometimes it's a short trip and you don't even have to worry about the oxygen mask. And sometimes it's a longer trip and you have to have more patience when that mask comes down. And sometimes, yes, it's the other one who is giving you an oxygen mask. There's many trips in this life. Many times we will have the oxygen mask in different phases and in different situations. Most importantly to realize, be open to all. Be open to all and how it aids your spiritual life and your day-to-day -day life. And then the prayer of St. Francis and all of his animal friends can really bring us amazing value. Well, my friends, that concludes our time together with St. Francis. I hope you found it helpful. I always welcome your comments and your thoughts. I always invite you to share this video on your page for others to find value as well. As I always say, I appreciate you being here with me. I thank you so much. I wish you all a wonderful Friday, and I will see you back here for a scripture video on Sunday. Take care, everyone.